In this lesson on equations and inequalities, we are going to have a look at simultaneous equations. Example 1. Solve x and y simultaneously. When I need to solve two variables, I need two equations. So in example 1, we have x squared plus y squared is 5, and we have y minus x is 3. My first step will be to identify the variable that I can get a loan very easily. So in this case, I'm going to start off by getting y alone in the second equation, because that I do by adding x on the right. I can choose to get any variable alone, but if I, for example, had a look at my first equation and chose to get y alone, I would have had to take the square root, and that would have unnecessarily complicated my question to work with square roots. Once I have a variable alone, I'm going to substitute that into the other equation. So where I see y, I'm going to write 3 plus x. And when I do my substitution, it is a good idea to write a bracket where you were supposed to write y, so that when you do the substitution, you ensure that you don't make sign or simplification mistakes. So I now substituted y by writing 3 plus x. So next step will then be to multiply out that bracket. And now we can see that this is a quadratic equation, so I'm going to get everything on one side so that I can then factorize and solve x. If I look at this equation, I can still simplify by dividing by 2 everywhere. This step is not necessary, but if you want to factorize, it definitely makes your factorization a bit easier. So here we have x plus 2 multiplied by x plus 1 equals 0. You could have also used the quadratic formula. So now we can solve x and say x can then be minus 2 or x can be minus 1. And now my last step is to now substitute back in to the first equation so that I can also solve y. So in my equation y is equal to 3 plus x, I'm now going to substitute x firstly with minus 2 and see that y will then be 1. Or I can also go and substitute x with minus 1 and then y will be 2. Example 2. Solve x and y simultaneously. Once again, we are given two equations. So I'm going to start off by getting one of the variables alone in one equation. So I'm going to choose to get x alone in the first equation. So that will be 5 minus 3y. Now, everywhere I see x in my second equation, I'm going to substitute 5 minus 3y. So I'm going to write brackets where the x's are supposed to go. I can now make sure that I don't make mistakes when I substitute x with 5 minus 3y. And now I go and simplify. So I'm going to multiply out that first bracket and multiply in the 3. And now I'm going to get everything on one side equal to 0 in the standard form. And now, once again, I have the choice to either use the quadratic formula or to factorize. And when I factorize, it will be y minus 7 multiplied by y minus 4, which means y can be 7 or y can be 4. Now, to get my answers for x, I'm going to substitute back into my original equation where x is alone. And... The first option is to substitute y with 7, and that means x can be minus 16. Or I can substitute y with 4, and that will give me that x is minus 7.